In this video I'm going to show you five tips that's going to make your modeling quicker and easier. The first one is how to mirror an object. So I'll select this house and then from my toolbar select the scale tool. And now to flip this house along this red axis I'll grab this middle control point and pull it out. Now before I let go of the mouse I'll type in negative one and press enter. Now you can see I have a mirror copy of my original model. The second tip I have is how we can quickly change these exterior material colors. So say you had a client and they wanted to see the different options that they could get their siding in. So here you see I have open the James Hardy website for his Hardy plank. and He has all of his color palettes available. So to transfer this to SketchUp, I'll go to the SketchUp window and press B on the keyboard to bring up the materials. And so I'll hold down the Alt button and it brings up the eyedropper tool and I'll just make sure I select the siding. Once I get that, I'll click the Edit tab. And here you can see I have uh, two icons, one with a black box and uh, gray lines through it and another with a computer monitor. So I'll select the one with the computer monitor and that'll allow us to select the color anywhere on the screen. So I'll go over here to this color palette and select the red and you can see it's transferred that. And I'll change, looks like we'll need to change the shingles to the arctic white. And I'll, I'll try green, not on the shingles, but green siding perhaps. So you could take a bunch of these options and, and make a bunch of different selections and just export JPEGs and send them to a client. And that really helps people make decisions a lot easier than looking at samples. And it really doesn't take that much time for you to uh, put together a package showing these. So the next tip I have is um, for more for taking nice renderings or making good looking images. And so that's just how to change the camera lens. So uh, if you press Z or press the magnifying lens tool, you'll see that it says field of view down here in the corner. Now by default, it should be something like 30 or 35 degrees. Um, so while that's up, we can type in something else. So I'll type in 65 and press enter. And that's, that's closer to a nice camera lens that you might um, take pictures of your projects with and it just has a better a wider field of view and makes for more dynamic images so uh, the next tip I have once you have a field of your your camera lens field of view set and you select a nice angle to show your building at you're going to want to go to camera and select a two-point perspective and what will that what that'll do is even out your vertical lines to make sure that they're going as straight up and down as possible. And it achieves that by making sure that your camera um, looks straight out across the horizon line. So you can see the gray, or the green and red axis are pretty much aligning flat. So in, if, if I'll grab the eye tool and we start to look up or down, you can see that our lines no longer are um, straight vertical and it creates less pleasing images uh, if I was to zoom in close here and look up you can just see that it doesn't have a nice as, as nice appeal as having the two-point perspective on so the final tip I have and I've seen a lot of people struggle with this problem is how to print to scale so say we're done with this project and we wanted to print off our elevations and our plan views and our floor plans out of this. To print to scale, there's only two considerations that we have to make sure are checked. So the first one is under camera, we have to make sure that it's in parallel projection mode. Once that's turned on, the other thing we have to make sure is that under camera again, we go to standard views and we select a view from this list. So you can see I've selected the right view and it says it's in the right view here. 
and if I selected the left view you can see it shows that and anytime you're in these views you can go to print and you can see that I don't have any of these boxes checked so I can come in here and enter in values for whatever scale I want to print to and so if I was to take off that standard view I'll go back to print and you can see it's the print to scale is no longer an option so those are the two things you have to remember to print to scale so I hope those five tips help you with SketchUp and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe thanks